Tourist attractions are made to entice the foreign traveler. While most of the tourist attractions found around the world are amazing and sometimes life-changing, there are other times when tourists meet their untimely demise. Here are tourist attractions that will probably kill you, and it's probably best to avoid them. That's awesome that you like our video, The Megafire TV. Thanks for the great comment and support. Leave more epic comments, Badgers. Yes, more comments. Number 13, the Half Dome Hike. People are generally aware that if you go hiking on a regular path or you go rock climbing, there is a small chance you could die. While experienced people use tools and equipment to stay safe, there are some things that you just can't control. The Half Dome Hiking Trail in Yosemite National Park is one of the most perilous hikes in the United States. Over 60 people have died hiking this trail alone. Whether it be from slipping on the steeper parts of the trail that only have metal cables to help you reach the next step, or massively heavy rock slabs break off and come tumbling down, there have been a lot of people that have met an untimely end just because they wanted to get some fresh air in a beautiful place. Number 12, The Climb of Mont Blanc. When you hear of the deadliest icy mountain, you automatically think of Mount Everest, who has seen the deaths of about 200 people. However, in the past 60 years, there have only been about 4,000 people who are even crazy enough to attempt the treacherous climb. There is a part of the Alps that is considered the tallest peak in Europe. It's called Mont Blanc, or the White Mountain. There are about 30,000 people that make this climb each year. Understandably, with that many people braving the cold, there are a lot more deaths. The climb of Mont Blanc takes the lives of an average of 100 people each year. Honestly, you might be better off hiking Mount Everest. Ah, we're kidding, just go to the beach instead. Just avoid the one in number 10. Number 11, El Caminito del Rey. In Spain, there is a super thin hiking trail that had to be closed down for 14 years because of safety concerns after several deaths. The reason this bridge walkway is so perilous is because it narrowly stretches over the Desfiladeros de los Gaitanes Gorge in Spain. Since the walls of the gorge are so steep, it's clear how someone could easily fall to their deaths. Even when the walkway was closed, there were still plenty of people crossing over the barrier to cross the treacherous path. Apparently, at one time, there were even entire sections of the attraction that broke off making this walkway that much scarier. We'll avoid this one too. We're just not a big fan of falling so many feet to our deaths. No thanks. Number 10, Florida's new Smyrna Beach. This seemingly pristine spot of land is known as the shark capital of the world, at least according to International Shark Attack File. There have been over 250 shark attacks at this beach in particular, making it the beach with the highest number of attacks per square mile. The last shark attack at this beach was in April of 2017, but we still have over half a year left and no other place on earth has come close to Smyrna Beach's shark attack record. The sharks that attack the people off the coast of Florida are mainly young bull sharks that mistake humans for other marine life. Quick tip, don't go into the water unless you want to become a part of the statistic. Number 9, the bull run in Spain. There have been only 15 deaths by running alongside a group of angry bulls, and that's since 1910, but that doesn't stop a hundred of other silly people from getting seriously injured every year. The eight-day festival is a celebration meant to honor Saint Fermin. The tradition started way back in the 14th century, and they have been doing it ever since. During the festival, six bulls are released onto the streets of Pamplona, Spain, and are made to run half a mile through the streets. More than 20,000 people show up to partake in this celebration and plenty jump in to run with the bulls. You might not die at this attraction, but if you don't watch out, you might just be impaled by a bull, which has to hurt like heck. Number 8, Miyakijima Island. Miyakijima is an island of Japan that sits above a ring of active volcanoes. Over the past 100 years, the volcanoes have only erupted six times. Although that doesn't seem to be a lot, the eruptions caused the citizens to evacuate and stay away from the island for five years because of all the ash and toxic sulfur dioxide that was released into the air. The island's residents began to return in 2005, but every person that lives on the island has to wear a gas mask to ensure their survival. Nearly a third of the island is still blocked off where toxic gases are just too much to bear. Sounds like the last place we would be trying to see, but they get tourists all the time. It has the same sort of lore that the destination in number 5 has. Stick around. Number 7. White Water Rafting on the Colorado River The Colorado River is over 1,400 miles long, which means you and your friends and family have ample room to go whitewater rafting, tubing, kayaking, and swimming. While this activity and major tourist attraction is super fun for the majority of those who ride the waves, there are plenty of others that only found a watery grave. Dozens and dozens of people have drowned in the Colorado River, mostly due to lack of proper equipment or education. 
A lot of people don't realize that after things like melting snow and heavy rainfall, the water level rises and the water can become quite rough to get through. There are fun and safer areas of the Colorado River to enjoy. Just make sure you check both the area you are having fun in along with the weather for the safest trip possible. Number 6. The Skellig Michael Tour You might have seen scenery like this as the backdrop in a recent film. And that's because this World Heritage Site was used to film parts of Star Wars. This stunning trek will take you up 600 ancient stone steps to a monastic settlement. This area was chosen by the monks because of its inaccessibility and unforgiving terrain. When tourists book this attraction, they are greeted with a detailed safety video explaining that not only are there absolutely no safety rails or anything to catch you if you fall, there isn't a station for water or a restroom anywhere nearby. There are actually times when you cannot even reach this island mass because the landing might not be accessible due to high tides and choppy water. After two deaths in 2009, there was a discussion in regards to adding railings along the trail but it was agreed that it would ruin the site as well as give tourists a false sense of security. So, no railings or safety measures have been added. Number 5. Chernobyl Pripyat If you weren't aware of the horrific explosion of Reactor 4 at the Chernobyl power plant, just know that it happened. The entire place is now abandoned and stinks of heavy radiation. For a long time, the area was heavily restricted, but in recent years, the radiation levels have dropped to a safer level, allowing preppers and conspiracy theorists to run amok. Well, sort of. There are both public and private tour groups that bring people, for a very limited time, through the remains of this enormous disaster, but you are required to bring outside food and water. Tourists are also told to stay off the pavement as well as the grass since there's simply too much radiation. It would be pretty cool to see this abandoned wasteland, but we aren't trying to get radiation poisoning. This ain't Fallout. Number 4. The Kokoda Trail The Kokoda Trail is an epic hiking trail that takes 6 10-hour days of trekking, climbing, and swimming through the jungles of Papua New Guinea. Now, this attraction isn't for the faint of heart, and that's before you add all of the perilous additions. Not only do you have to make it while trekking through a freaking jungle, but you have to be aware of mosquitoes carrying malaria and other diseases. Dehydration and running into something like a wild jaguar or leeches. There isn't a market or even any rest stops, so everything that you have to eat, drink, and protect yourself with has to be carried on your person. There are local guides that travel with you, but that won't stop the local tribes from attacking. Yes, there are local tribes that have lived on this land for generations and will attack whenever they feel like. In 2013, a group that was hiking a neighboring trail was attacked by a group of locals together with a few escaped convicts. Two people died, and another seven were severely wounded as a result. Number 3. The Crocodile Cage There is a crocodile farm in Thailand that is referred to as the world's most terrifying tourist attraction, and with a good reason. You can see from this picture that the tourists stand on this floating platform, which you can see is also being held up by floating barrels. While they feed the hordes of hungry crocodiles just a few feet in front of them, <laughs> this seems like a genius idea. Obviously we're being sarcastic since this looks like one of the least safe things on the planet. This is an attraction that could certainly kill you. Number 2. The Poison Garden What do you get when you inherit your family's land as well as long neglected enormous gardens? You turn them into one giant poison garden and open it up to the public of course. At least that's what the Duchess of Northumberland, Jane Percy did when she inherited the Aldenwick Estates. At first, she thought this would include a section that contained plants known for their healing properties, which could have been smart if she had included the antidotes to these poisons, but in the end, all she planted were poisonous plants. The garden is well marked with signs just about everywhere warning the viewers about the dangers within. This tourist attraction doesn't allow the patrons to get close enough to get killed by the plants, but there have been plenty of people who have fainted from the toxic fumes released by the plants. Number 1. The White Sandy Beach of Acapulco Acapulco is a vacation hotspot for Americans and anyone else looking to enjoy some white sandy beaches. Although this beach looks beautiful enough to waste the day on, you might want to choose a different destination when you find out just how many people are murdered on that exact beach. Although most of the murders are drug related and not tourist related, people are still getting killed right where you're supposed to be relaxing and having a good time. As of 2013, the murder rate was 142 for every 100,000 citizens. January and February of that same year saw a horrific 200 murders alone. According to the US Department of State Mexico's travel warning, they urge you to stay in tourist designated areas. Travel by air when possible and always make sure that you have enough fuel to make it through the shadier parts of town. Or don't risk it and just go to Disney World instead. Your choice. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time. Bye! Better.